Hello and welcome to another episode of the Getting to Know You series here on the Tranmere Rovers YouTube channel where we get to know the inside mind of Tranmere Rovers women's player. And this week I'm joined by Beth Amwoodley, the Welsh Dragon as I like to call you. And we're going to get to know a bit more about Beth and Beth and welcome for coming on this week. Thank you for Cheers, joining us. Thank you very much. No, thanks for having me. So, first question. Yes. Which is a good question to always ask footballers to get mm -hmm. into the mind. What's your pre-match routine? Um, I'm a bit strange, I'm not going to lie. Um, mine's very lengthy, so it either starts the night before or the, the day of. Um, so I've got to have a bath, wash yeah. my hair, straighten my hair. Strange, I know, because I've got to wash it when I finish as well. Um, but yeah, no, that's my routine every single time. I've got to have a bath. I've got a bath bomb as well, whack it in. Um, nice. Wake up nice and early. I've got to eat two hours before I leave. Um, so if it's an away game as well, then yeah, I'm up early, sort the dog out, um, have my breakfast, um, and then yeah, just chill. Um, I like to just be on my own for a couple of hours before I then set off and either um, join Katie and Penno or whoever, um, and then come to the game. Sounds like a really, really good, decent routine to be honest. Yeah, I don't change. So everything's got to, and I'm, very, I'm just a very structured person, so I've got to have everything, like, exact bob on every time. I respect that. Cheers. So what's your favourite film? I've not had many people answer this question. I've got a lot. Um, I love myself a film. So you've got the classics like Mrs Doubtfire, Bender yeah. Like Beckham, but I am a massive Harry Potter geek. Oh. So yeah, Harry Potter is kind of my go-to. So I'm looking forward to Christmas. It's always on the run-up, isn't it, to yeah. Christmas. So yeah, Harry Potter. Any particular Harry Potter film that's your favourite? Yeah, Goblet of Fire. And, you know, there's not many people that agree with me on that, but, uh, yeah, Goblet of Fire is the best. And if you say otherwise, you're wrong. I always like Chamber of Secrets. Okay, yeah, no, I quite like the early ones. I think it gets a bit too dark for me towards the end. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like, I like Goblet of Fire. I like the Triwizard Tournament, so. I've met uh, Mark Williams, who plays... Okay. Dad. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At Comic Con last year, so. That was so would that be your celebrity, the, what is it, the most famous person you've met? Uh, one of the most famous. One of the yeah. most. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. So what's your favourite meal? Roast dinner, and I know loads of people have said this as well. Um, what Craig was saying about not having gravy on it as well—that's just. Criminal. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, but yeah, no roast dinner, roast beef. Um, you've got to have everything with it as well. Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes. I like mash as well, my mum doesn't, so you know, a bit of an argument every week. Um, all the trimmings, everything. Yeah, all out, every Sunday without fail. What sauces are we looking at? Are we looking at a bit of mint, a bit of apple, a bit of cranberry? Yeah, everything. Maybe chuck a bit of bread sauce if it's special occasion. Yeah, so um, if you're having chicken or turkey, you've got to have cranberry on it. I have a mint sauce on my veg, no matter the meat. I know that's a bit strange, but it's Decent, and then just gravy, loads of gravy. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's got to be done, mate. So you've got a game show. You're on a game show. Final question to win the jackpot, but you're not sure on yeah. the answer. Who out the squad? You've got your last slice line. You've got to call someone. Who are you calling? This is a tough one, because I think if I was to go on a game show and there was two of you, I think I'd take Davo. Yeah. I think we'd have a, a good balance of knowledge. Um, but I don't think I'd trust Davo as my lifeline because I feel like she'd stitch me up. So I would say probably Holly, and that's probably a shock. Yeah. Um, but she knows random stuff about loads of random things. Um, so she watches loads of, uh, listens to loads of podcasts and things like that. Um, and she's just got facts after facts after facts, which is yeah beyond me. But yeah, I'd, I'd probably say Holly. That's quite an interesting choice. Mm -hmm. It just seems like someone that's got very fast music knowledge. She knows a little bit about sport as well. Yeah. Uh, I've not, not had the chance to interview her yet, so I'm not sure about her TV knowledge, but I think that sounds like really... She's just got... Yeah, she, she knows a lot of stuff about uh, random, useless information that nobody needs to know. Um, but yeah, no, she's she's got a fair bit in her locker, Holly. So yeah, I'd go Holly. 
What's your favourite celebration? Uh, last week when I asked this to, to Kevin, so we split into two, so the favourite one that you, you do and the favourite one that you've seen. I know you've, you've got a tend to, when Penno scores, you tend to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I don't know where that's come from this season, but for some reason when Penno scores, I slap her across the face, which I've been told I need to stop. So I've been trying my best to stop. Um, in terms of my celebration, I don't celebrate. So if I score, you probably see me just kind of walk off. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I, well, the fist pump, that's probably about yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's about it. I don't really celebrate myself. Um, yeah, so favourite celebration wise, probably not not that much. Um, when I was younger, it was probably Nanny with all the flips and stuff. I'm a oh, United yeah. fan, so for my sins. Um, so Nanny's flips, but yeah, I haven't got that in my locker, so. So you're on a deserted island. Yep. Who, which two members of the squad are you taking with you? I wonder if we've had a little bit of an insight into that from the quiz question or whether that's... Oh no, I'm not taking Holly, she'll do me head in. <laughs> Holly's not going with me, she's staying back at home. Um, it's a bit like Desert Island Discs, isn't it? This, yeah. You've got the songs that you'd have on the island, but this one you've got to pick teammates. Teammates. Tricky one. Um, I would probably say Katie and Penno. Yeah. Katie, just because it would be constant laughs, it would just be hilarious. Penno as well for that reason, but also Penno would probably come up with some random TikTok that she'd once seen of how to make a raft or something to get us off this island. She's got, yeah, a lot of random things that she comes out with, which you've probably heard a few. Um, so yeah, I think Penno would at least attempt to get us off. It'll probably fail, but I think, you know, she'd have yeah. a link to get off. Whereas me and Kate would probably just sit there, have a beer and, uh, yeah, enjoy the sun. I suppose Penno could probably cook for you as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what Penno can cook, to be fair. If she can cook a roast, then she's definitely coming in. Yeah, she's on the plane. She was going about before, uh, I'm going to ask her when I interview her in more depth about this, but she was talking before with the girls about cooking eggs and how there's no way she can cook eggs. Oh, she's got random stuff. There's one that if you moisturise, after the shower, before you dry yourself, it's better. Right. I don't, I don't know, but I've not, I've not tried it. Some of the girls have. Um, but yeah, random stuff like that, she comes out with all the time. So she's quite a good person to have on board. Might take that on board, you know. Mm. <laughs> Whenever you use Manivia for men, other so brands are available. <laughs> Who's the best and worst dressed in the squad? This one, I think Katie answered this one the other week. Yeah, well, she's worst. Straight up, Katie for worst. Um, and I've got a picture, if you need it for evidence, of the, sh the shirt she wore when we went on holiday to Mallorca. Yeah, she's got a, a few questionable outfits as Katie. Oh, you send that across, I'll drop it in there. 100%, yeah, no, 100%. Um, but yeah, no, Katie, she'll take it on the chin as well, so I can say, I can say Katie. Um, best dressed. I think there's a few, to be fair. There's a few with quite good style, especially the younger ones coming through. Yeah. Um, but if I don't say Holly, Holly will kill me. So for just, just to make my life easier, I'm gonna say Holly. I think Katie went with Holly, I think. She's yeah. talking about having a new set of shoes every week. Yeah. I've noticed that on the ground. I've noticed that on the ground. 100%. She's, she's a pair of trainers each week. Yeah, she spends that much money on her clothes that if I didn't say Holly, then I think, yeah, I'd probably get a slap around the head. So I'll just go with Holly for an easy life. <laughs> We're on to the quick fire round now where I ask you a couple of questions and you answer as quick as you like really. Yep. Would you rather speak another language or learn to speak to animals? Oh I can speak Welsh. Ah. So I'm going to say speak to animals so I can speak to my dog. Um, but yeah Welsh isn't a very good language to, to know because there's not many people that speak. Can you say something to us in Welsh? Oh no, no, it. no. What do you want me to say? Uh, if you give me something I'll say it. Hello, how, how are you today? I don't know. Hello, Sid of Tea, have you? There we go. There we go. There we go. Done. Red and white and blue, or red, white and green? You see, there's, there's a thought about this one. Red, white and blue, red, white and green. Red, white and green. Welsh flag. That's... Ah, I didn't catch you out. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> no, yeah, 100%. I can, see, I can see you going. Yeah, I knew there was, I knew there was something coming. Um, but yeah, Welsh flag. Welsh I'll try to see if I can catch you out. Very funny. CG United fan, Ronaldo or Bruno Fernandes out the current crop of players? Oh, I, I've got to say Ronaldo. 
don't like either of their attitudes this season. Yeah. Or maybe last season as well. Um, but Ronaldo, because he was the first person I had on the back of my shirt. He is so, quite. Yeah, I'll always back Ronaldo, even though he is yeah a bit questionable at the moment. Tea, coffee or hot chocolate? Coffee. Ooh. Don't like tea, and yeah, hot chocolate isn't really for me either. Coffee every day. Cappuccino. Oh, nice. Your Starbucks or Costa? Oh, obviously. Oh, uh, Cafe Nero Cafe is my go-to. Um, yeah, decent. Um, and then Starbucks and then Costa. Yeah, do like a coffee shop. Are you a tiki taka or a high press? It's got to be high press. Um, I'd say high press when the ball back. Um, but yeah, I do like a bit of tiki taka. It depends. For this team, I'd say high press. Um, I think we've got strength when we do that. So, washing the, the clothes or your clothes, should I say, yep. or washing the dishes. Not washing the dishes. Don't do the dishes. Um, that's just a, a common thing with me. I don't do. Don't touch the dishes. So I'll do the clothes. Sam or Craig, and I might actually because I've got asked before. Chuck linen, linen there as well, just to make it harder. Now I've known Lynn a very long time, um, so I would be edging towards Lynn, but Sam is the one that picks the start in 11, so to keep him sweet, I'll go with Sam. Yes. Because I asked Keris this, this last week, I've actually said on this and mm -hmm. refused to answer Pop and Katie went for having, and I was like, to be honest, she's the only one that can get away with that one because she's the goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, and then Keris turned it round on me. Okay, and okay. I, I had to pick, so I picked Sam because my thing is Sam's yeah. 27 I believe and 26 so it's okay. just, just the age gap. Yeah, yeah. If I went down the pub, you, don't get me wrong, both great lads to go down the pub with but you'd probably hang out with more with someone around your age. Yeah, That's yeah. my logic. My, I mean my logic is I just want to be starting playing football so we'll go, we'll go with Sam and keep him sweet. We found Make a player happy. answering the question. Yeah. And then the last question I always ask, cop end or cow shed at Punton Park? So for me, I would say, I know loads of people go cop end, um, but I'm going to say the cow sheds mainly because my dad used to go and watch Tramia and the cow sheds. So yeah, just a bit of nostalgia there. That's, that's actually a really cool answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today, Baffin. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all very soon.